Throughout history, there's been any number of odious individuals, tyrannical despots, dictators, who seek nothing but power and to hold dominion over others. Today, we're going to be looking at one of those. I speak, of course, of Lotso Huggin' Bear. Welcome back to Hedgehog Studios. I'm Jaconi, and today we are going to be looking at Lego set number 7789, Toy Story 3, Lotso's Dump Truck. And I'll show you the instructions here. Um, I don't have the box for this one. This one is not a new set that I'm looking at. It is a, a gently used set. So, uh, it'll not be any real unboxing, more of an undumping, I guess, because I got it here in this tote. And we'll get to that in a moment. First, I want to talk about the Toy Story movies. Um, it's been a while since I watched them, so my recollections may be off. Uh, so if you can give me a little leeway on that. Uh, Toy Story 3 I saw when it was in theaters, and that's actually the only time I've seen that one. I've seen one and two probably a half dozen times at least, maybe more. Um, I haven't gotten to four yet. So I can't really comment any on 4. Um, now, had 4 never come out, uh, 3 uh, would have been a fine ending to the series, in my opinion. They they wrapped everything up, gave it a nice emotional bow, made everybody cry and go home. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but I, I liked it. I did enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed all three of them. In fact, at, uh, you know, I, I'm hard pressed to find a, a Pixar movie that I didn't like, to be honest. Now, the villains in the Toy Story franchise, at least in the first three, in my opinion, Lotso here manages to be the first real just villain villain. Um... Because she had Sid, and I, I guess Scud, in the first movie. Scud's a dog. And, you know, Sid didn't know that toys were sentient or alive or, or what have you. Um, so he was just being a jerky kid, you know. Then uh, the, the owner of the toy store in Toy Story 2, uh, he, of course, didn't know, uh, uh, much like Sid, that toys were alive. So you can't really blame him for what he was doing. I mean, granted, he did steal a collectible from a yard sale, but uh, I call that more dickishness rather than villainy. Um, as far as uh, Kelsey Grammer, I, I, I mean, Fraser Crane, I, I mean, Stinky Pete goes. Uh, yeah, what he did was, was, was villainous, but he felt he had his reasons. Uh, he had been trapped in a box his whole life and watched everything else be sold, and he was angry and bitter and whatnot. So I don't know if I would say that really rises to the point of villainy. Lotso, on the other hand, Lotso uh, was willing to torture, brainwash Buzz, and incinerate all the main characters uh, out of spite and an attempt to hold on to power. So, oh, and of course, the most important thing you need for a villain. He had minions. Minions. Not to be confused with the, the you know, DreamWorks, DreamWorks, uh, minions from the minion stuff. They're different. Uh, but no, he, he had lackeys, and I mean, all that combined, I would call him a true villain. At least compared to the other, you know, bad guys in the Toy Story movies. So, but like I said, it's been since it was in theaters since I saw Toy Story 3, so I don't know if my recollections are 100% accurate. But this, this isn't a video to critique or review Toy Story 3. Otherwise, I'd have prepared more. <laughs> now, today, we're going to be looking at Lotso's dump truck. Um, can't do an unboxing. I can only do an undumping. Ta-da! So, they're dumped. Oops, I dropped a piece. One moment. 
Oh. All right. So, this is not a large set. Now, as I said, I don't have the box, so I'm just going to put up a picture of the box. Um, as usual, the, the design department for the LEGO group does a great job. Uh, I think that they did a lovely job on this box as well. And, of course, the Toy Story characters, the, uh, the minis for them, are excellent. So, like I said, all we have is the instructions and the parts. So, let's get on to building this. So there we go, the Lotso dump truck, built and done. Let's have a quick look at some of the uh, features and a closer up look at the, the minifigures. You have the octopus fellow here, I can't remember his name, um, and also this particular one I noticed after I built it, which one is it, he's missing, the, there it is, the tip of one of his tentacles, hmm, oh well. That's okay. He's fine. Then, of course, you have the spiky guy here. I can't remember his name either. Uh, but he's got two different faces. He's happy. Or he's ticked. Because if I recall correctly, he was Lotso's muscle or something. And then, of course, Lotso, which the Lotso minifigure is excellent. I love the Lotso minifigure. He's, you know, looks slightly angry and sinister, and he comes with his little walking stick. It's a very well-done figure. Now, the dump truck. Of course, the dump truck comes with this weird little minifigure inside, uh, which is just a, a rounded piece with a kind of funky minifigure head and a hat. Um, of course, it dumps. Has a little rubberized piece so you, it'll pop back after you dump, so that's nice. Um, overall, it does have that whole kind of Tonka toy truck feel to the model. Uh, so I very much like that. Little lights in the back. <laughs> um, I like how they did... Uh, put stuff underneath like the the I guess they'd be the gas tanks or whatever and the uh, the grills for the dump truck part of it to land on so that's nice and of course the the headlights there hmm so we'll put these back in real quick 
Now, as I said, it's been a very long time since I saw the third Toy Story. I really should check that out again and maybe give it its uh, its uh, proper uh, review at some point. Um, but I enjoyed it, like I said earlier, when it was out in theaters. Um, and I'm paying for Disney Plus, I might as well. <laughs> yeah, you know? But... Uh, the set. Now, um, it's a nice, simple little set. Uh, to, to my recollection, it uh, appears uh, pretty film accurate. But again, like I said, haven't seen it in a while. Take that for what you will. Um, I like that it's functional. That's always, you know, any movement uh, uh, ups the playability or, you know... Uh, I believe the term they use is swish ability. Swish, swish, swish. Anywho, um, so overall, I would say, like I said, it's a nice, simple, small set. Uh, but uh, I would give it a uh, four and a half out of five stars. Um, if there's any criticism at all, I have it. It is that it's a tad small. Um, because Lotso was a fairly large toy, comparatively, so the dump truck was big. And, of course, I mean, it scaled down, yes, but still, this, I don't know. The Lotso, he, he doesn't seem to fit inside it as well as I would like. So, I don't know, maybe, perhaps Lotso should have been more uh, Hulk and Thanos minifigure sized. Or something. I don't know. It just... The scale doesn't seem spot on to me. But that's a small, a small criticism. I mean, especially, you know, I mean, if you take these parts that, you know, for the dumpable part of it, you know, you can build a little stand to put lots on so that he's up higher. So, oh yeah, that, that works. <laughs> Uh, so that's, uh, all I've got for this particular build. Um, I hope, uh, you'll join me in the future for more builds. Um, aside from Lotso here, uh, I do have, uh, several new sets that I'll be doing unboxing and reviews of, and a whole lot of older sets, uh, ranging from just a few years ago, all the way back to 1980, the the distant past. Um, now, most of the really, really old sets are, are going to be castle-based, but uh, I hope you'll join me for those, and I will see you later. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out our Patreon. And for more action figure fun, visit HedgehogGames.com. Have a great day.